racing to the 2021 Kentucky Derby, and this time we go to Oaklawn Park. It is opening day, and it's the $150,000 Smarty Jones Stakes. Seven horses have entered, including one of the top 10, 15 horses for the three-year-old rankings. We'll talk about him in just a moment, but let's start at the rail. Interesting horse ships in from Hawthorne, and Mac Robertson may have a good one here. They purchased it for $40,000 at the Keeneland September sale, and Martini Blue picked up a win first time out at Hawthorne and did it under some interesting circumstances. Did it with a speed figure of 83 on the Brisnet scale. Came from a little bit just off the pace, and overall the fractions were not bad for Hawthorne Park. Now the competition, he definitely has to go up in class here, but Mac Robertson, one of those trainers that's gotten a lot of wins over the years at Hawthorne, Arlington Park, Canterbury, and all over the Midwest, trying to step up in class here with Martini Blue drawing inside of the other speed. And I think this horse may be a little bit better than some people think, and I give him a little bit of a shot here in this spot. Now Lawlessness is going to be a little bit of an outsider in this spot, but Mason Ingrid is another one of those Midwest trainers that kind of gears up for Oaklawn Park and then goes to Hawthorne and Arlington uh, spring and summer. This horse picked up a win in its second lifetime start, regressed a little bit the last time, has to fig, uh, face a little bit tougher field, but Lawless lawlessness definitely one to consider here at a little bit of a price. Cowan most likely going to be one of the favorites after running in some high profile races the last couple of times out. Now last time out picked up a second place finish kind of belatedly although senior Buscador kind of got the jump on him. I think that was kind of a suck up second place finish and I'm not sure he really was ever had a chance to win that race. Now he does do, do a little bit of a drop in class but I think he may be a little bit overplayed people thinking that he's got a class edge here and I'm not sure Cowan does. Big Thorin disappointed the last time out but that race was run won by Matasebek and Matasebek was forwardly placed that day chasing another speed horse. Big Thorn this time could be more forwardly placed and if he goes back to one of his two Gulfstream Park West races he has a chance to be in the money here at a little bit of a price. I think he's a little bit better than Cowan and I definitely would be using uh, Big Thorn in some exacta plays in this spot. Hardly Swayed invades from Ohio and the speed figures are a little bit light. I think he's going to be a little bit overclassed in this race. Probably the best chance for him is to show a little bit speed and maybe get a little bit brave on the front end if Hardly Swayed is going to make a dent in this field. Moonlight Strike fits on speed figures. He's got an 83, 84. It's his fourth lifetime start, and so he's got a little bit of progression possibly in him here. The mile distance should be a good spot for him, and Smokin' Joe Talamo rides, and it'll be interesting to see how he kind of sets up because if Caddo River goes to the lead, that could put him in a 2-3 wide trip chasing some of the other speed, and that would not be a good trip for Moonlight Strike. I think he's going to get the worst of the draw here with some of the other speed in this race. Now, Caddo River is going to be favorite on the outside or one of the co-favorites with Cowan, depending on how heavy they play Cowan in the spot. But I think Caddo River is one of the better three-year-olds in this crop. A dominating win last time out at Churchill Downs, drew away by eight lengths. He's by hard spun the mile distance suits him perfectly been training really well a good uh, uh, figures for his workouts good spacing good distances and I think he's primed to run a big race off the bench I like the fact that he faced good horses in his first two efforts and then he drew off with uh, ease in his last time out being bet down a little bit here now he's gonna be a short price but what do you want a, sh uh, a short price uh, beats a long face in some of these races now, I think he's definitely better than Cowan, and I think hardly uh, Moonlight Strike is not going to get a good trip. So I'm going to take straight exactas, Caddo River over Hardly Suede, and then I like that rail horse, Martini Blue, to complete the exacta. But Caddo River, definitely one to watch in this spot in the Smarty Jones. Don't forget, uh, we've got a preview of the Pegasus World Cup races coming up later on this week. Also, on Mondays, you can take a look back at the Future Book, our weekly look at three-year-olds. This week we took a look back at the LeCompte Stakes and the Silver Bullet Day and previewed a big maiden winner out west at Santa Anita. That's a look at the Smarty Jones. My selection is Cadu River. Who do you like? Leave a comment below as we race you up to the 2021 Kentucky Derby.